Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50p's worth hunting through, looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally new ones for the book. We've got a few still to get, Kew Gardens being the rarest, the hardest one to find to fill the book. We need a bunch of Olympics, three on this page, what's that, five on this page and one on that page. So we're making good progress with the Olympics. We still need a Flopsy Bunny as well. Uh, Flopsy Bunny has not turned up to the hunt yet. Otherwise we're complete up to and including the Coronation 50p and we found one Atlantic Salmon so far. So it'd be nice to find a few more of those. Uh, links as usual in the description to the books that I use if you want to pick one up. It's an affiliate link with Amazon so I do get a bit of commission if you make a purchase. But let's get into the bag, see what, what coins we find. Okay then, into bag number one, which we'll open in real time. I'll show you what it is we're looking for. So, that is the Shield of the Royal Arms. Became the definitive design on 50Ps, the standard design from 2008 onwards. The key dates to look for are 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18 and 2021 20, for the years that didn't circulate and 2017 for the low minted circulating year. Before that, Britannia was the definitive design. Um, 2008 is the lowest minted circulating year, that's the key date to look out for, otherwise anything after 2008 shouldn't be a Britannia. That is disgusting, I don't want to know why that's all green. Our first commemorative is Public Libraries, very very common coin, you'll find plenty of those out in circulation. Are we going to get any more for this first bag? Yes, Peter Rabbit, 2017. All the 2017 Beatrix Potters are very very common though unfortunately. Um, Good chance we might be able to complete the whole set in a video. Right, that is bag number one complete. What we're going to do now is just speed up until we find more. That was a representation of the People Act from 2018. Again, fairly common coin. I do like that design though. And there's Pride, relatively new coin for circulation. That's nice, but again, very common, five million minted. There's the Coronation 50p. We haven't had finalized minted figures for the uh, 2023 coins yet, but uh, we expect them to be five million as pre-announced. But do check on the obverse, there's two different portraits. That is the standard circulating portrait of the king. There's another version of this coin that was released to collectors only where the king is crowned, and that would be an NIFC, a coin that is not intended for circulation would make for a very cool find indeed. And there's Tom Kitten, another 2017 Beatrix Potter. Oh, 2011. That's the date we want to see. Olympic year, what's it going to be? Ooh, basketball, very nice. I do like this design. The background field makes it look like a basketball. It's a very cool concept. So at any time, a 2011 uh, Olympic 50p turns up, it's always going to make for a good find. There's another Pride 50p. And Victoria Cross the medals. Now this is a fairly common commemorative coin, but take extra care because in 2019 these 10 designs were restruck for collector sets and not put into circulation, Victoria Cross the medals being there. So it probably won't be, but it's always worth checking the date to see if this is a restrike that's been uh, put into circulation by someone. This one is not. This is a 2006 original circulating year. But uh, we, always, we always check for them because eventually if we're lucky enough we might find one. That is a very battered Team GB from 2016. Very, very common in that condition. Not worth anything to a collector, unfortunately. There's another Peter Rabbit. And there's Christopher Ironside. I keep all my Christopher Ironsides because we share a name. And that was sensible until I got to the amount that I have of them now. And there's Tom Kitten. Very cool. Crazy Eyes Tom Kitten. There's another Christopher inside too. Super stuff. Lots of finds today.
Another 2017 Peter Rabbit. We've also got Diversity Bill Britain there. Another one you'll find plenty out in circulation of. Another Team GB. This one's in a bit nicer condition than the first one we found, though. Oh, 2016 Scrawl Nutkin. That's quite nice. Smidge over face value, not enormously so, but a cool find for sure. Oh, I saw the king as we flipped it. Memorial 50p, the first one that went into circulation with King Charles III's portrait uh, struck to mark the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. And there we have Jeremy Fisher. So we had just a Benjamin Bunny offer completing the 26, uh, 2017 Beatrix Potter set. Amazing because the Benjamin Bunny is the most common uh, commemorative coin full stop in circulation. So I'm sure with all these bags left to go, we'll find one. Oh, Jeremy Fisher. Not Benjamin Bunny, though. And Peace, Prosperity and Pepperonis, which maketh the breakfast 50p. Check the expiration date. 31st of January 2020 is the date that should appear on there. Allegedly, there could be some with the other day's Brexit was planned for. Not that I have seen any, but again, you might as well check. And there we go. Holy Toledo, two Olympics. And we've got loads of bags still to go. This is Olympic weightlifting. A stunning design. My goodness, two Olympics in one hunt. Amazing. Oh, there's uh, our first Paddington, Paddington at the Tower. One of four Paddingtons you can find in your change. All four are very common though. Oh, well, there he is, Benjamin Bunny. 2017 Beatrix Potter set complete. But check for the rotation error on him. He rotates perfectly. No error, sadly. That would have been a very cool find. There's another Memorial 50p. I always check the king is on the obverse. I don't know why, I just have to do it. There is Dictionary. Very common. It's a little bit grubby. Not the nicest of condition, but for a coin that common, it doesn't really matter, does it? We're not losing any value on it. There's the Platinum Jubilee. Much like the Coronation 50p, there's two different obverses you could find. One that went into circulation, one that didn't. That is Jody Clark's fifth and final portrait of the Queen. That's the one that went into circulation. The non-circulating one has the Queen on horseback. Uh, very, a fairly common coin there, so we'll pop that in the top row. Look at those finds. We're going to get a really good variety today. There's another Victoria across the medals. Could this be the restrike we've been hunting for? No. We will try again. Keep on trying. Never give up. Never surrender. Oh, the Battle of Hastings. Battle of Hastings is a smidge over face value, but again, could be a restrike. That one is not. All the restrikes obviously say 2019 on the obverse of the coin. Um, that was another Diversity for Britain as well. There's another squirrel nut in there, in very nice condition too. Super stuff. Oh, 
2017's Peter Rabbit once again. Lots of him. Imagine this hunt for the Easter hunt. That'd have been great. Uh, another Memorial 50p, which of course has the king on the obverse. Oh, we've got public libraries again there. No way. 2011 for the third time today. This is the penultimate bag. This looks like a nice condition one too. Oh, it's canoeing. Very nice. One of my favourite designs on the Olympic series. It's such a lovely design with lots of action and motion in it. That's uh, very nice. And our third Olympic. Unbelievable stuff, right? Uh, there's another Diversity Build Britain. And another Pride. Right then, on to the last bag of the hunt. It's been a very good hunt. Three Olympics, my goodness gracious me. That doesn't happen every day, does it? Now, as usual, there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. There are also links to my other social media channels and the PA box just if you want to write in to me. Right, you've got the right expiration date. You can go onto the pile. Uh, there's also a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel. That's the company I work for as my day job, so please do go and check their channel out as well. And that's all the coins for commemoratives. I will just whiz through the coins off to the side now. This is why I separate out the Britannias and Shields. It's nice and easy for me to whiz through them and see if there's any key dates I've missed. In terms of key dates, then we have got one Britannia from 2008. It's the only key date I found throughout all those coins. It's a bit of a shame, but they don't always turn up. Ah, uh, star finds. Well, we've got two new Olympics for the book. We got basketball and canoeing, which mercifully are on the same page, but ticks off two more from this page, whittling down the last few coins to complete the book. Ah, star finds. I've just got to be one of the Olympics, hasn't it? Uh, one of those three. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you would disagree or which of these Olympics you'd pick as the star find. It's always interesting seeing what you guys are liking uh, in terms of the finds. All it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.